Analytical thinking helps you simplify complex topics in a routine way. You can apply analytical thinking to almost any problem in four straightforward steps. Follow this process and you'll see a quick improvement in your problem solving skills. I'm Jen. I help people develop the skills and knowledge they need to enter analytical jobs and be prepared for the modern workforce. Analytical thinking is really logical thinking and creative thinking combined together. I'm going to use analytical thinking and problem solving interchangeably throughout this video because they're essentially the same thing. You can think analytically even about things that aren't problem problems, but many times analytical thinking is applied to solving problems. Really good analytical thinking involves identifying what the problem is that you need to solve and then going about the solving process. Let's look at the four steps of analytical thinking. The first step is to identify the problem. What do you actually need to solve? It's really common for people to jump straight to solving a symptom instead of solving the actual problem. For instance, if a company is trying to sell more of their product, they might ask the question, how should I price my products so that I can sell more? This is only a small part of the actual challenge though. There are a lot of other things that go into why a product is or isn't selling from whether the features meet the needs of the consumer, to marketing, to competitors' products that are available, all of these really need to be addressed to figure out how to sell more product. Here, the real problem is, how do I sell more product? We still need to analyze pieces of that. So one of the pieces of deciding how to sell more product is certainly going to be, how is the product priced? One key to being a good analytical thinker is knowing when you are only solving one part of the problem. So if you know that the bigger problem is how do we sell more product, then you can talk about price in the context of that question. Once you've identified the problem, the second step is to decide how you're going to go about solving it. Here we're setting up the problem solving approach. What tools, techniques, or methods are you going to use? What data do you need to be able to solve the problem? Are there people that you need to be involved in solving this problem, or do you have all of the resources available to you that you can figure out entirely on your own? Establishing a good strategy to approach the problem makes the entire solving process easier. It lets you go through a lot of the logical thinking of how to solve it and then supplement with the information you need to actually get that solution. At this stage, you can also consider whether to break the problem into multiple parts. For instance, if you identified your problem as how do we sell more product, you may identify a half a dozen different things that need to be analyzed or solved to be able to complete that answer. One of which is pricing, one is marketing, one would be competitor products, and the list goes on. These first two steps might make it sound like analytical thinking is really only for mathematical problems. Analytical thinking can be used for even non-math problems though. You can examine the data even if it's not numerical data. We do this all the time with relationships. Why is this person mad at me? Why are we fighting about this? Why did so-and-so break up with me? This is analytical thinking. You're taking in the available information, looking at the causes, and then hopefully moving towards analyzing and solving the problem. That leads us to step three, which is analyzing the problem. Use the tools and techniques that you picked out in the second step, along with whatever data or information you needed to collect. You may also have to make a few assumptions here where you don't have concrete information. Make the best assumptions you can and document them. This way, if your results don't quite work out, you'll know that these assumptions are areas where you likely made a mistake and need to be a little bit modified. The last step of analytical thinking is solving the problem or getting the answer. Now that you've gathered the information and analyzed it, what's your proposed solution? In this stage of analytical thinking, you're making the data and information actionable. You're saying, here's the problem, here's how I analyzed it, and here's what I'm gonna do about it. Your proposed solution, especially in a work setting, may not always be acted upon, but at this point, you've fulfilled the four steps of the analytical process. Follow these four steps any time that you want to analyze a problem or a situation. They'll help you become more effective by implementing good analytical thinking into your way of working. I'll talk more about analytical thinking in future videos. Thanks so much for watching.